A wise man once said, one day computers will fit on a desk. That wise man was named Mr. Arthur C. Clarke, a science fiction writer and futurist. Well, if we consider the present times, his prediction is not hard to believe. But it was a bold claim back in the days of 1974. He predicted that in 2001, computers will allow people to work from home. This way, everyone could live and work wherever they want and kids could attend virtual classes. His prediction ended up being very true. Though the timing was a bit late, but yes, now we are living a life of his predictions. Paying our bills, attending online classes and even dating online. Times when computers have integrated themselves into a daily life and have become a daily need. Not a want, but a need. Even Santa cannot live without them. Computers have created such dominance in our lives that a world without them is unimaginable. Fun fact, computers today even predict and they are often right. Talk about the good old days when sages and visionaries did it for us. But who cares, all we want is to know about a future. Why? What if I told you it is possible? <gasps> and it all starts with a single word, computers. With the introduction into the market in the 20th century, computers have continued to revolutionize any industry they've entered, from science to art. Today, we use computers in order to make simulated predictions from asteroids to even cancer. That brings us to the big question. Can computers one day predict the future? Can we create an artificial god? Let's see. Right now, computers do predict some aspects of the future, like weather conditions, results of some scientific experiments and more. Such predictions cannot be made by a regular computer like a smartphone or our laptops. These are not powerful enough to do the gigantic calculations required to predict the results. So who does it? The answer ladies and gentlemen is supercomputers. Supercomputers are able to do millions of billions of calculations each second. That is why they can calculate numerous possible scenarios for a very complicated event. For example, in order to predict the collision of two galaxies, a supercomputer must learn what a galaxy is and how it works. Its formation process, motion, subcomponents to almost every minute detail we can feed it with. But this information is not being fed to a human mind, which has the power to imagine, but two sets of mainframes and wires. Thus, we need to design a data model of the galaxy and feed it into the system. This model resembles a giant 3D galaxy coded inside of the computer memory. Well, the fun fact here is that humans don't really create this data model. Instead, we use algorithms and AI to help us and all we do is enter the data for the algo and the AI to work upon. A lazy species we are. Once the model is completed, the supercomputer runs a series of all possible certainties and then gives the most possible outcomes as an output. The fun fact being that every single possibility is a probability and is not at all absolute. For example, the probability of the apple falling on Newton's head could have been less than 1% but it was a possibility that did come true. Probability cannot always be trusted. It is believed that in order to predict the future of humans, the computer must be able to process all of the Earth. That means it must model all of the Earth. Hypothetically speaking, if a computer is able to model our entire planet and its ecosystem, all of its people, countries, cultures, economies, etc., it will become able to predict almost everything instantly, right? No. The biggest twist being that probability is not absolute and similarly every second has infinite number of possibilities. Human choices alone can range from one to infinity at any point of time. The human future is not only dependent upon the forces that exist on Earth but also in the cosmos. For example, solar storms, supernovas, asteroids, etc. And let us not forget the quantum realm which we haven't been able to decipher yet. These four factors themselves when resolved would leave us with unimaginable number of possibilities. A supercomputer will need to process all of these possibilities and then give a final statement. So, how competent are the modern day computers to meet this challenge? Sun Wei Tai Hu Light, one of China's most powerful supercomputers, is theoretically capable of almost 125 petaflops or 125 million billion flops of calculation. FLOP is an acronym which stands for floating point operations per second. Scientists theorize that when supercomputers crack the next speed milestone, that is the exaflop or billion billion flops, they can make a fully coupled earth system model that is accurate down to a kilometer. The supercomputer that can do this probably will be able to do some predictions that previous supercomputers couldn't. It will be able to predict disasters and economical crises and much more years before they can actually happen. Even though it won't be the ultimate prediction machine, it will take us one step closer to it. Maybe our one billionth granddaughter might be able to use the ultimate prediction machine. Who knows? Scientists are creating supercomputers much more powerful. So it won't be shocking if in 20 years from now, supercomputers become able to predict not just economical disasters, 
but wars and global terrorist targets years before they are put into action. It seems that most of you guys love to watch our videos but do not subscribe and that is really demotivating. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for much more interesting videos that are on their way. Plus smash that like button if you liked it. Stay safe. Bye bye.